He's right, actually hello deep. everybody. Welcome to CCL Season 53. First round match between two titans of the game. Singolo uh, with his orcs and Silly Billy Belly who is Rusey, but unfortunately he has Amazons. Uh, in the booth with me is Dimmy G and Jack Bull. Hello. Hello. I love Blood Bull. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Singolo, of course, famous for the incredible sound effect, which I can now play for everybody. I love Blood Bowl 3, like I love Eat Glass. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got KO'd already. So he's, uh, oh, two arm breaks. And he's a pretty big favourite in this match, I think. Um, oh, what, Singolo? Yeah, his team's pretty big. He's got a tackle pond. Did he win it with Orcs? This is the question. I know he won it with Undead. He's won it twice, hasn't he? Or did he get to the final and lose against... Uh, I tell you who he lost against. He lost against the American guy that won it. Uh, I think he's won it twice. No, he lost... He, he played he's won Orcs. It twice. Yeah, he has won it twice, mm. but I don't know if he won it with Orcs, because he played against... Uh, who's the American guy? His name begins with S. He's always in Rick's chat. Mm -hmm. uh, I played him all the time. Terrific. No, the guy who made the massive Burt team. Who's the guy with the massive Burt oh, team? Oh wow, instant fireball. Nah. Sindane, Sindane. Sindane, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sindane. I, I, I think uh, Singolo lost to Sindane. Sindane won it with Orcs, didn't he? I remember. Yeah, yeah. Sindane won it with Orcs. Davo won it with Orcs. And Gadanik won it with Orcs, and I think they're the three Orc winners. Dwarves uh, and Undead, there you go. Oh yeah, Thanks Dwarves, there you go. Dwarves, uh... So yeah, two-time winner. Um, Did he win it the season he knocked out Shawnee's massive Wood Elf team in round one? That might have been that. Season. Yeah, Dave won it with Necro, not, not Orcs, yeah. I knew oh, of course he did, yeah. Mm. I knew that was wrong. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Davo, yeah, that was it. Terrific beat. Davo's orcs with Necro. Yeah, Davo should have won it with orcs. He had like monster orcs. Yeah, and then he, he should have beat Trific to be fair. Mm. And then he didn't. He kind of went a bit wonky in that one. Yeah. <coughs> this Amazon team is uh, about it's as there. good as an Amazon team gets, I guess. It's there. It's got, he's got a wizard no that's already spunked. No that. You know there's some guard? Yeah, I know, but you expect guard on Amazons, don't you? Yep, five guard, there's a pommer, but yeah, not much at all. Not much at all, this looks like it's, it's going to be ground up and spat out by orcs here, really. Like, I know they haven't got that much tackle. But still, they've got they've got the strength and the volume. Of they got the they there. got the tackle bomb, and there's no DP on the Amazons either. So mm, only twelve Which players. Is what they, yeah, they need the DP to deal with bomb. Yeah, pretty much. In my humble opinion, is it a humble opinion, Demi? It's definitely not humble. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're, cor <laughs> you're correct, Jim. <laughs> is, is 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 has Demi ever been accused of humble wing? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm, I'm quite a humble. Guy. <laughs> I'm pretty humble because I'm fucking amazing. <laughs> I mean, I say well, I'm brilliant, but humble, my so God, I'm actually winning. humble. You've got no idea how fantastic yeah. I am. <laughs> you have to be humble when you haven't won a chalice, you know? <laughs> well, that's like 99.99999% of people, right? Mm. Mm. More than that. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's about... about oh. How many oh. Chalice winners are there? There must be about, like, one in... 52? Uh, well, it's not, though, is there? Because people have won multiples, like... Oh, right, so, yeah, there'll be, like... Yeah, Cruz has won six, Ducky's won four. So, probably, like, 40, 30? Between mm, 30 and 40, I'd guess. Yeah, yeah. Trific's won two. There are T's in 40 and 30 that are, uh, yeah. 40, Shit. 30, <laughs> 20. <laughs> Next wow. he's going to be saying 20. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was Barrymore, wasn't it? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's no one in my swimming pool, Jim. Hey. <laughs> Trick. 
J-E-L-L Dim. <laughs> this isn't, uh, he's not doing anything yet, is he really? Only three KOs. Um... Only three KOs? It's turn four, Jim. <laughs> yeah, well, he hasn't cast anybody yet. Mate, he's he? got the wizard out. He's, yeah, and he's, he's got four. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's playing cool. against eight. Like, he's, he's cruising, mate. He's yeah. absolutely cruising. Yeah, yeah, but he hasn't won the game yet. That's, sorry, that's what I was trying to say. Like, you know, like, okay, yeah, the drive, I mean, the drive is very yeah. secure and the wizard's gone, but he hasn't won the game yet. Mm. I don't think he's far off it, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Jimmy and Nick have won a couple between them as well. Very good, Dave. Very wow. good. Between wow. me and Cruz, we've won six chalices. <laughs> <laughs> and me. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so um, here's an interesting trivia question from Sports Jim. Who are the highest scoring uh, brothers in ice hockey? Oh, Wayne Gretzky and his brother. Yep, Wayne Gretzky and Brett Gretzky. Brett Gretzky <laughs> played two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they are the highest scoring brothers in the league. <laughs> yeah. like How the crazy is that, considering the number of brothers? And there have been a lot of them. The, the Sutter brothers, there were six of them in the friggin' league. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, but they were all goalkeepers. <laughs> they what? <laughs> they were all goalkeepers, goalies. No, they weren't. Uh -uh. No, I'm the joking, Sutters? mate. It was, it was a joke, mate. No, I know, but I'm, uh, you would think maybe one of them would have been right. <laughs> <laughs> you would think that when they're growing up, one of them had to play goaltender, right, so the other five could skate, but nope. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if someone just had a team like with all of the brothers on it. That would be hilarious. I, I bet you when they were coming up as kids, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bet they had a few punch-ups, so. <laughs> Yeah, God, yes, that's that's crazy. When you think of the three legends of Chalice, it's you know between <laughs> between Ducky, Christopher, and myself, we've won it ten times. <laughs> the legends. Jim is now a legend. <laughs> well, hey, to be fair, Jesus uh, Christ. You'd have to say Cruz, Ducky, and Elliot, though, wouldn't you? Not, yeah. uh, I don't know. Well, what Cruz, Ducky, and uh, and Rick, right? Nah. Well, Gdanik's probably more than that. Gdanik's won it twice, hasn't he? Yeah, Nick's yeah, won Gdanik it twice. has two, right? Singolo's won it twice. But yeah, Elliot's won, 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 won it qualified twice. with every... Yeah, Tries won it twice. Elliot's, won, Elliot's qualified with every race, which is pretty good. I don't know who the third El is. Elliot is qualified for... Uh, is is there anybody... Is Ducky qualified for every chalice? No. no I mean, no. I mean, you, like, honestly, you got to say Spider, because he's never lost a game in chalice. No, definitely not Spider. <laughs> it's interesting, though. I wonder who the third person would be. That's, that's interesting. Crucifer, Torek. Yeah. Crucifer has holds it. Yeah, Cruce one and Ducky two. I mean, th those two are locked in. But yeah, the third one's up for grabs. But has has Ducky played in every challenge? It's got to be, it's no, got to be Dio, surely. Dio needs it. Oh, K well, K4 only won it once, didn't he? K4 won it once, yeah. Dio's won it twice, hasn't he? Has he? Hey, he I won it with so. Nurgle. He won it with Nurgle. I can't remember anyone else. Oh, maybe he's a Narian, right? A Narian's probably won it three times. Yeah, Narian. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Narian's got several. Huh? But he did He did win it when it was a bit crap. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. No, that, that's, that was... like, that's, that's the argument I always make when people say that Bretts have actually won a championship. Yeah, I said, exactly. nope. Yeah. Well, they have. They've won a chalice. Yeah, but they won it when there were very few teams and when people were mostly crap. <laughs> Still like, it's it. true. The, the early ones were, were... and the early ones had like really weird Amazons, high elves, and goblins combined. Yeah, yeah the early ones they had weird qualifying as well. So many kids. Brett's will never win Chalice. Yeah, I mean Muldrips was really good, and like Muldrips, but didn't he didn't win it? Did he? he could he could have easily won one. He could have easily won the one that in an Arian diced him the pants off him in the final. Um, so you know, Muddy D could have easily won one, but again, winning one doesn't really put you in there doesn't put you in the conversation at all, does it? So, so yeah, it's really hard to put Elliot in with none. <laughs> but it is cool that, he, that he's qualified with every race. That's cool, but you can't put him ahead of people that have won two or three times. Mate, he can't. doesn't even know how to cook mushrooms, mate. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess, yeah, I guess you'd say Cruz, Cruz, uh, Ducky, and, and Inario. But I wouldn't say they're the three best coaches, but <laughs> they're definitely the three that have done the best in the Chalice, haven't they? Gotta be. 
Yeah. Well, doesn't that make them the three best coaches? No. No. I mean, it's, if that's your, I mean, you've got to have a proving ground, wait, right? You, you can't just be the guy who wins the most in the open ladder. <laughs> well, no, I mean, they, they're, they're, they're they're the they may be the best done. Blood Bowl 2 coaches, but even then, like, you still got to go, like, Shawnee, KFO, Dio. Like, there's, there's quite a few. Even Davo as well. Yeah, yeah, Daedal, yeah, uh, Velahopia, yeah, Velahopia is pretty good, yeah. But. I mean, if you're using the chalice, they 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 have done the best in chalice. That's it. But I don't I don't think they're the best coaches because but but you know like well, it depends. They're not the best. Who's that? Uh, hang on, Poopock. Game, what about so. Poopock? Uh, He's won it a few times, I think. Yeah. I mean, that's mostly just being it's mostly being harsh on uh, Inarian, I guess. I would I would say, <laughs> I would say that's more. I would say it's being it's being harsh on Crusa. It's being harsh on Cruz and Ducky to say they're not the best <laughs> than it is to Anarian. Like Anarian's well, good. Cruz, don't hang on, is but... Cruz has only ever won it with Chorfs, right? Yes. And then yep. if Rick six, if Rick won it with victories. if Rick won it with Chorfs, then surely that like eliminates like five of his victories. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Banter>. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I, you know, like Jim, what have, what have you taken to finals? What what races did you take in your two? Well, what, what about Andre? Andre is Andre ever won chalice? He has won chalice, surely. Um, I don't think he has. Yeah, I got the final with with Chorfs, Yeah, uh, was, it, was both was both of them Chorfs or just one? I only got one final. Oh, I thought you had two finals. Okay. No, and I've had like got three or four semi finals, but only one final. Yeah. Uh, Jim Jim's a semi man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how many semis are there? Jim, Jim's a quick finisher. The Chaos, the Chaos, the High Elves, and I think another one, I think three. Oh, the uh, Dwarves. Yeah, Roller Dwarves. I wouldn't have won with Roller Dwarves because the final was against Chaos. I wouldn't have won with a Chaos because the final was against Muldripster. But the uh, the semi that I lost with the High Elves, I think I would have won the final there. So I, I think I was close to winning two, very close to winning two. Oh, Ungern, Ungern's been around. Yeah, Ungern won it, didn't he, with humans? Mm -hmm. yeah. Recently as well. Yeah. Was that, wait, was that, hang on, what was the game that Mr. Page got annihilated by dwarves? That was, uh. The other French lad, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, he was playing a French, but yeah, he got, he got Blanc, nice in like, the first three turns. Too long. No, no, it was turn nine, wasn't it? He got like four cars in <laughs> four years. <laughs> it was turn nine, mate. Too long. Yeah, Too long won it. There was a, there was a whole French season, like where it's like Ungern the French won connection. it. Yeah, Ungern won it. Too long won it, and Le Marseille got to the final or something like that. Mm. It's interesting though because like. You know, like without a doubt, obviously Cruz has done the best. Like when you come, when you think of CCL as well. But like, it's how good, how good is he? Is the thing, right? Because you know he's done it. Like that's the thing, isn't it? He has put in all the hours, and like that takes a certain amount as well, right? To like have that dedication and doing it, right? So who, like, who are you speaking of? Cruz. Yeah, Cruz has yeah. played most. What's, blah, what blah, I find anyone. most interesting about Cruz's wins is, if I remember correctly, several of those seasons. He had like one, two, and three chorfs on the ladder. Yeah, yeah. And he, yeah like, it wasn't the, like he had one team developing. He, he had developed wouldn't. three different teams so he could pick who the hell he wanted to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but he, yeah, he wouldn't quit until he made the perfect team to play chalice. So. Yeah, exactly. And most of those, most of those chalices that he won, he had the best team in the chalice, right? So like. Yeah, it was crazy. Where he was a machine those yeah, years. Yeah, he really was. Yeah. So like, so while you can say, yeah, sure, like if. Core had done the same, he might have won, you know, seven or eight, but he didn't do the same. <laughs> so, like, that's it, isn't it? You know, at the end of the day. And, like, well, but it's also know. the only barometer we have because, I mean, you, you could also make a, a an argument that Anarian's one of the best coaches ever to play simply because of what he does with halflings. I mean, right? I mean, but you win. can't say that because he hasn't won six regardless of halflings, right? I mean, I mean it's. Can't. You can't say that because he hasn't done very well with halflings. Is the main thing. <laughs> He's actually done really. If you watch his games, man, he kicks some asses. I mean, when you when you consider what the average win rate of a halfling coach is. Yeah, but he's not. Yeah, but he's the, not the, problem is, the problem is the problem is with halflings is you play a load of shitters because you're low TV. 
Yeah. So it's like he's, he's still not still right to mess with them. Yeah. Like they've both got. But way um, but yeah, but there. I mean, but Chalice is still the only barometer we have. So. Yeah. Yeah. So what like, is? Hang on, hang on. Is a barometer what you measure wind with? Is that what? No, that's wind speed. That's an altimeter. I'm sorry, what? altitude's altimeter. Wind what, speed is a. What's a barometer? Barometer yeah, is uh, humidity. Humidity. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's very fitting with Blood Bowl, yeah. <laughs> it is, it is. It's, 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 it's just, thing. it's a common term in America. You just say the barometer, which means all things being equal. Uh, pressure good. makes diamonds. Or so. pressure, thank you, pressure. Thank you, Dado. And Elliot, and BB John. I'm Jimmy, I said it too. No, you didn't. Don't no, you, you just read the comment, mate. Come What's on. Yeah, you just followed Elliot. I mean, Elliot's the one who came out with it. The freaking engineer. I being wrong, and I just thought, oh, I must be wrong. The engineer comes out and he goes, no, 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 no. Pressure, pressure. <laughs> God damn, uneducated Americans. <laughs> this was I know he's sitting with Nick right now, laughing his ass off. <laughs> oh, is Nick, is Nick still there, is he? I don't know. I don't know if Nick went on... Later today or not? Oh, yeah, I don't know if, no, they, they played really late. I'm sure. I'm sure Nick's still there today. Cause like he was still there when I like how, finished. I like how Nick is couch oh, surfing man. his way across Europe, man. That's glorious. <laughs> it is glorious. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's the interesting thing about Chris. Like you know, you've got to say Chris is like you know achieved the most and he is the goat of, of CCL and everything and he has done it and there's there's got to be a lot of respect for the fact that he has actually done it and it's oh and, without a doubt and so but the question is at what point does like does the potential for say core like how do you rate that potential compared to what Chris has done it is interesting isn't it that's all I'm trying to say it's not really only only because like you did flip flip the script and try to compare Crucifer to core and tabletop right just doesn't happen. Oh, uh, mate, I don't think it would be that far off, mate, honestly. No, they wouldn't. Uh, it would be very close yeah, if they did. But yeah. Core has done it, and Core has been ranked number one in that. So, so yeah, yeah but, he also, thing, but mate, he also goes to like like 15 tabletops a year, which is like, really hard to do anyway. Yeah, and that, and that yeah. affects the ELO as well. Like that's, I've always said that. Like, you know, ELO yeah. is just who goes the most. And mate, stuff, all basically. the top boys, all the top boys go to like every single tabletop yeah, event. Exactly, and, like, yeah. I just couldn't afford to do it or get the time off work. Like. Yeah. So if any of the top people went to loads of them, they'd do well. Yeah, yeah, they do do well. Yeah, they do do. <laughs> But I, Sparky, I just genuinely... didn't, Sparky didn't win it, Matt. Matt. Sparky got the uh, final. Got, and then got to the final with the shit team. Lost to China, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We we all thought we all thought that uh, that that Sparky was the fairy tale, but actually he was just making Chunter's fairy tale. <laughs> and they ended up just giving Chunter the easiest final ever. I think I think they were the two. Was that teams. the easiest final ever, or was Spiders the easiest final ever? Ah, oh, well, I mean, Spider Spiders was the biggest dicing, right? Spider beat Cruz. Spiders yeah, that's was a pretty. Yeah, that was a pretty easy game when you watched it, dude. Yeah, yeah, but it was even, the biggest dicing. Even Spider was like, "Holy shit, what's yeah, going you, on?" You, you got, you got to argue that uh, Spider is the greatest of all time because he's. No, you don't. Because he did. No, you don't. And he beat, and he beat, and he beat, he beat, he beat the six-time winner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, if he if he'd attempted it six times, he probably would have won all six, right? So. No. Uh, <laughs> so, so by that by that barometer, then by that barometer, Jimmy is not so much of a legend. Space Cadet's the legend, <laughs> right? So, so right, Jimmy, Space Cadet is the legend then. Well, because he beat Jimmy six times. Yeah, because Jimmy was calling himself the legend. So actually, if you if you you know, <laughs> I mean, I was just making the joke. Come on, <laughs> ten <laughs> CCL <laughs> titles between myself, <laughs> hell yeah, but between myself and uh, Cruz and. Ducky, just that. It was just that thing. People do that with other people, don't they? As well, like you know, they have like a picture of like Federer, Nadal, and somebody shit, and not themselves, and say, you know, "Don't don't get Dimmy talking about tennis strokes oh, on his okay. axe again." Just... Oh yeah, yeah. Shove your balls in my face. This looks pretty oh, yeah. over, doesn't it? This hasn't been much commentary in the game because you know, Zons are shit and they've been absolutely fucked. Well, Zons will never win Chalice, right? They won't. Absolutely not on my watch. Is it the last chalice, is it? It's the last 64 team chalice. So I think this is it. the last chalice, boys. I'm sorry to say it. 
We, you, nah, I mean, it doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> I just, I, I don't think they're gonna. I think if, if Blood Bowl Three Chalice goes reasonably well, or Number Wank, whatever they're calling it, oh, goes reasonably mate, it's well. It's already a joke, mate. It's already a joke. It's just like dwarves, and that's it. Well, yeah, the team picks. I'm, I'm just talking about like the games being stable, depending on what, what's his, uh. Mate, o, does here in the mate, next 30 mate, days. O, overtime's a mess, and that's not just because of like cyanide. That's because 2020 overtime rules are garbage. Yeah. And uh, like it's just yeah, it's just and then like whoever came up with the best of three idea for the final is just needs to be put down. I don't know. <laughs> well, just, they're just, they're, don't say that. They're just trying something different. Oh, it's all I, I'm, I'm not a big proponent of it. I don't think it's a good idea myself. No, just but they're just trying something different because it's the first one in Blood Bowl 3. Like, how, like, like, I mean, who's going to sit there and watch, like, three games? Are they going to play them in a row as well? Like, three of the same game? No, I th honestly, you want to know what I think is going to happen, Dim? They'll just power it off. and. I, mean, I, bet you they, I bet you both teams will concede one and they'll play a third. <laughs> I'm no one's going to concede first, though. I, I bet yeah, you that... Yeah, exactly. No, that's true. I didn't even consider that. That's true. But they would just agree together. They would just say, if you concede, then I concede. Let's start game three right now. Oh, fuck. Fuck playing three games of football in a row against... Well, that, that's the tough thing. Yeah. Like you said, what about scheduling, right? I mean, it's hard enough for coaches to schedule games as it is. Yeah. Mate, it's just about viewing it, mate. Like, how painful is that? Like, yeah, yeah like... I didn't realize the final was best of three. Oof. Oof. <laughs> it's just garbage, isn't it? It's yeah, amazing. well, it's just like, but again, I mean, you can't shit all over it because they're just trying something new. I don't think that's going to happen again. No, I don't. I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> I wouldn't, you can I understand wouldn't be it with surprised. it being res, right? It's, I also it's wouldn't... something you can only do with res, right? Because if it wasn't res, it's never yeah. an option to do without res because with res, the, you know, the finals like Sir Elliot versus Artemis, <laughs> then Artemis kills him in the first one and then wins two easy ones afterwards. <laughs> well, that, that's... I also think I also wouldn't be surprised if by round three, they just decide that the finals are one gamer. They just they 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 rescind that. No, I, I think they'll do it. It'll just yeah. be horrendous. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to Yak and see if he wants to change it to just the final of one. <laughs> I bet you it does because I don't. If you pulled all of the Chalice coaches who were in, or the number Wang, the Flipper Wang, whatever the hell you want to call it. All the Wang coaches who were in, I bet you, I bet you, hundred percent of them would say just one game. Yeah, I think they do it as well. Yeah, I think I think you're right there. Unless you think you're like way better than the other guy in the final. Yeah, yeah if you think do. you're way better, then obviously you it takes away the You still want to have to play potentially who, three games. But yeah, who cares that much about winning? Like, honestly, like, literally, who cares about that much winning to have to endure an extra, like, three hours of Blood Bowl 3? <laughs> That's the thing, yeah. It's like, it's, do you really, do you, do you want to, wouldn't you rather just get it out of the way in one game, right? I mean, yeah. let's play it, let's get it done. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds I mean, awful. this is this is not Warhammer 40k, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, yeah, I mean, pretty fucked for Ruzi here, isn't it? Yeah, this this hurts. Eventually, the damage did pile up. I, it was always going to be like Singolo's too good, and his team's too good to not be like this. There's nothing. He had no tools, did he? Said he. Billy Billy. He had no Yeah, Raven now. Uh, like or I should say, yes, Corpax. Raven's correct yeah. there with UKTC. People on the move. Yeah, it's. The numbers were down to begin with on both Blood Bowl 2 and Blood Bowl 3, so. Whenever you have these big majors. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it, is, it is the fact that Blood Bowl 3 is getting both as well, for sure. <laughs> like it's it is definitely killing both because it's unenjoyable. <laughs> it's it's, big, it's weird. You know what? Thing. Honestly, Jim, I didn't expect that. Mm. I expected I expected Blood Bowl two to go strong for a little while, like it like it pretty much has. I didn't expect as many coaches to come out and say it's just not enjoyable for me to watch, yeah. like to watch other coaches play. It's very weird. I mean, it's. 
I mean, imagine hearing that, right? You're like, oh shit! Even the people who love to play the game don't want to watch it now. Yeah, yeah. honestly, if it weren't if it weren't Elliot and Gdanik, I wouldn't have watched Steve a game like. Mm -hmm. It's only because they're like comedy gold together. Yeah, no, it's it's a, it's mate, a good Elliot, watch. Elliot I don't watch any it, mate. Did you did you see Elliot falling asleep while Gdanik played this game? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brilliant! He was just sat in the background and he was just like blinking and it was like getting heavier and heavier. <laughs> <laughs> it's not falling it's right there, there, man. Dickhead. I was like, I was like, he's gonna fucking fall asleep, man. <laughs> yeah. Elliot and Nick stream together. Yeah, Tora, yeah, you can watch the My, my, my favourite was the Nick cooking scene. stream and I'm like, hey, Nick. Have Elliot go Salt Bay, and then Elliot's like, and Nick goes, "Oh, Elliot's not going to get that reference." And Elliot gets all pissed. Well, I might get it. What do you mean? What do you? And then he tells him what Salt Bay is, and then and, and Elliot goes, "Oh, I know what Salt Bay is. I don't know what the hell he does, but I know what that is." <laughs> I was rolling. I'm like, he's <laughs> the one group of salt. Like who put salt on things? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck more do I need to know? How he puts the salt on things, at Elio, that's the thing. <laughs> it's how he does it. You could have replicated it. But you did I wanted to see, dude. I wanted Elliot to do that so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you denied us, Elio. <laughs> Dimmy, when do we get the uh, Master Blaster emote? <laughs> <laughs> You can't admit that picture is brilliant, dude. Is he going to surf his, own, his ball carrier? He is! <laughs> He's surfing his own carrier. Nice. He's surfing his own ball carrier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> oh, and of course the ball only goes a block. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Fair enough, he might get banned for three oh, seasons. Oh, now it's gonna go, watch this. Holy hell. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I got it, I got it, don't worry, you boys. That was great. Ricky and Ellie needs some wanker who put salt on me. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck more do I need to know? <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Elliot gets aggressive. Isn't it <laughs> scary that I could literally hear Elliot saying that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear, what's, who's, he, who's he scoring with? He wants to score with this one. One, two, three, four, five. Double G if I pass to him. I don't get it. You, you surely want to score on this guy, right? He's on 13. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, he's lobbing it to a Blackhawk. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's GFI. Amazing. Amazing. It's correct to not surf, yes, Scorpax. Surfing is terrible. Yeah, have a look at this, lads. Surfing is incorrect. What's this? Look at Elliot. <laughs> Gripping challenge. Jimmy goes back and clips it. Oh man, amazing title. Right. Um, yeah, easy win for Singolo there. Absolutely dominant performance. Congrats to him. Commiserations to Silly Billy Belly. Thank you very much, Dimmy G and Jack Bull. Been glorious having you guys in the booth. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, just remember Salt Bay's on the loose, baby. Salt Elliot. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.